When I first started dating Dom, he had Abby, his Borzoi. Uh, I know. Matter, I was like, this is the weirdest dog I had ever met. Mm. <laughs> we are Dom and Claire, and this is Abby and Cleo's story for GeoBeeps. <laughs> Abby is basically the size of a horse. I really get in there. Oh, she's so <laughs> I mean, oh! <laughs> it took some time, but she really grew on me. <laughs> we joke that she's a worm because yes. she's so skinny and so long. <laughs> <laughs> I would describe her as a punk. She's very much like to push the limits of the rules, where Abby is kind of more lethargic, more does her own thing. But yeah, she's like a, like what, the all-terrain vehicle? Like she, she does it all. <laughs> She'll do zoomies. She'll jump in the mud. She'll chew things up. She'll spin in circles. You would go on these really fun hikes that were kind of like dirt bike paths. And she loved that. And she would just run them as fast as she could, which stressed me out a little bit. but she would always just like walk them first and get an idea. Cleo, come! <laughs> and then she would just go full tilt. <laughs> when we first brought Cleo home, we were like, this is gonna be great. This will be like super sweet because they're different breeds, but they have the same mannerisms. So I feel like they would get along really well. <laughs> But Cleo was just this complete space cadet. Did not care about Abby. So they have this really funny relationship where it depends on the location. If we're like out on a hike or outside, they love each other. They play so well together. They just get so into it and they're just doing zoomies. Even when they're playing inside, they're really great. But if they're not playing and food's not involved, they really have their own spaces in the yeah. house that they're like very particular about. <laughs> but they have never cuddled. They've never laid on top of each other. I had Abby in my young adulthood. Boys <laughs> love. She had bad separation anxiety, so she really became attached to me. When I went to work, she would destroy my apartment. <laughs> she would destroy it. And part of that destruction is she would take my bread off of the counter and she would hide it everywhere. I have one very vivid memory. I went to go to bed and I put my hands under my pillow into like wet, soggy bread that she hid under my pillow. I don't know if this is like a dog thing or if it's specific to Abby. She doesn't eat bread, she just cares for it. We've never been able to to quite decipher why that is. <laughs> I feel like I learned so much from Abby. She taught me patience. She taught me responsibility. She is just such a big baby. She's so sweet and so particular. She's the heart and soul of the family and then Cleo's the comedic relief and like, <laughs> they're perfect.